RNA viruses have fewer shared characteristics due to their greater number and diversity. The key characteristics that they share include single-stranded genome, except rheovirus with double-stranded RNA genome, and cytoplasmic replication, except for influenza and retrovirus. Here is a table summarizing the RNA viruses you should be familiar with. Let's move on so we can discuss them in more detail. You can always come back to review this table later. The negative stranded viruses include arenavirus, bunyavirus, paramyxovirus, orthomyxovirus, phylovirus, and rhabdovirus. They carry their own enzymes, such as RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, to transcribe a positive stranded, complementary copy of its genome. Use the Bohr mnemonic to remember that bunyavirus, orthomyxovirus, arenavirus, and rheovirus contain segmented genomes. These viral genomes are cleaved into two or more smaller, physically separate segments of nucleic acid. When the virion attaches to and infects another cell, these segments come together, reassemble, and join to form a complete genome. It is important to remember that orthomyxovirus, or the influenza virus, has a segmented viral genome. You will recall that segmented genomes are capable of reassortment, which causes genetic shifts and new influenza pandemics. The H1N1 influenza strain of 2009 is an example of an influenza pandemic brought about by high recombination reassortment that combined genes from the human, pig, and avian flu. The picornavirus family includes poliovirus, echovirus, rhinovirus, coxsackie virus, and hepatitis A virus. All viruses in this family except rhinovirus are enteroviruses because they are spread by the fecal oral route. In the majority of cases, polio infection causes no symptoms at all. When poliovirus causes symptoms, it may present as abortive poliomyelitis, in which the virus doesn't affect the CNS and produces only a mild febrile illness. When poliovirus does enter the CNS, it causes meningitis-like symptoms or paralytic poliomyelitis in about 1% of cases. Paralysis occurs because the virus preferentially damages anterior horn motor neurons. Some patients can develop post-polio syndrome several years after resolution of the acute infection, which causes further muscle fatigue, weakness, and atrophy. By the early 20th century, poliovirus had caused major epidemics that were responsible for crippling thousands of people, mostly young children during the summer months. Thanks to the development of the polio vaccine in the 1950s, the number of polio cases per year has decreased dramatically to the point where it is an almost unheard of disease in the U.S. today. Therefore, if you have a patient who is from the U.S. and the question doesn't mention travel to other countries or lack of immunizations, think twice before assuming someone has polio. There are two types of vaccines available. The Salk vaccine, which contains killed or inactivated poliovirus, IPV, and the Sabin vaccine, which contains live attenuated virus in an oral form, oral poliovirus or OPV. Because of the ease with which OPV vaccine can be administered, it has been the vaccine of choice in many countries. However, on very rare occasions, one per 750,000 vaccine recipients, the virus can revert to a wild-type virus with the ability to cause vaccine-associated paralytic poliomyelitis. For this reason, the Sabin vaccine is no longer available in the U.S. and many other industrialized countries. Echovirus is another virus acquired through fecal-oral transmission. It can cause a wide spectrum of illness, from rashes, mild febrile illnesses, to aseptic meningitis. Suspect echovirus in patients who present with meningitis during the summer to fall months without the classic CSF profiles of a patient with bacterial meningitis. Rhinovirus is the number one cause of the common cold. We discuss it again shortly. Coxsackie virus is the most common cause of meningitis far outweighing bacterial causes of meningitis. There are two forms of Coxsackie virus, A and B. Coxsackie virus A is responsible for herpangina, hand-foot-mouth disease, and acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. Herpangina is a painful blistering infection of the mouth that usually affects children. Hand-foot-mouth disease also commonly affects children and is characterized by fever, followed by sore throat, loss of appetite, and malaise. After the onset of fever, painful sores appear in the mouth, throat, and then on the hands and feet. Characteristic lesions of the hand, feet, and mouth are shown here. Coxsackie B virus is responsible for encephalitis, cardiomyopathy, and aseptic meningitis. As we mentioned, rhinovirus is a member of the picornavirus that is the number one cause of the common cold. 
There are greater than 100 serologic types of rhinovirus with clinical diagnosis made by symptoms. Unlike the other picornaviruses, rhinovirus is acid labile, meaning it can be destroyed by stomach acid. Therefore, while the other picornaviruses can spread by fecal oral route and infect through the GI system, rhinovirus is an exception in that it is transmitted via respiratory droplets and direct person-to-person -person contact. Yellow fever virus is a flavivirus and an arbovirus. Arboviruses are those viruses which are transmitted by arthropods. In the case of yellow fever, the arthropod is the Aedes mosquito. The RNA virus chart on page 186 identifies other arboviruses by an asterisk symbol. Yellow fever is characterized by chills, fever, black vomit, and headaches. When the liver is involved, people have jaundice, which can help you recall why it's named yellow fever. This double-stranded segmented RNA virus is a common cause of diarrhea in children. It is highly transmissible via the fecal oral route and seen frequently in the winter in daycare centers and in kindergartens. Treatment involves supportive care, but there is a vaccine currently recommended for infants in the U.S. We've already mentioned influenza virus several times. Again, remember that it is an RNA virus with segmented genome that can undergo genetic reassortment, resulting in genetic shifts. Random mutations in the genome, on the other hand, create genetic drifts, which result in epidemics. The influenza virus contains two types of glycoproteins on its outside surface that contribute to its pathogenicity, the hemagglutinin and neuroaminidase proteins. You can see these outer proteins in the two images below. Hemagglutin proteins allow the virus to attach to and enter cells by binding to acid sugars on respiratory epithelial cells. Neuraminidase is an enzyme that allows the virus to exit the cell by cleaving the sugars that are bound to the mature viral particles. Remember neuraminidase as it is an important target for the antiviral drugs alceltamivir, which is Tamiflu, and Xanamivir. This toga virus causes the German three-day measles, which presents with fever, post-auricular tenderness, lymph adenopathy, arthralgias, and fine macular papular truncal rash. In children, it causes a mild disease, but it can readily cross the placenta and is highly teratogenic as a congenital disease and is one of the torches infections. Congenital rubella can cause deafness, blindness, and or heart and brain defects. The paramyxovirus family contains the following viruses, parainfluenza, rubiola or measles, mumps, and RSV. Paramyxoviruses are the most important causes of respiratory infections in infants and young children under the age of 5. Parainfluenza can cause the common cold and croup. Croup affects the larynx, trachea, and bronchi with symptoms such as fever, hoarse barking cough, laryngeal obstruction, and inspiratory stridor. RSV or respiratory syncytial virus causes an acute viral infection of the lower respiratory tract, bronchiolitis, in young children. It infects almost all infants by the age of two, with symptoms resembling those of the common cold. The other two paramyxoviruses, measles and mumps, will be discussed next. Paramyxovirus contains several structural proteins. You should remember the F or fusion glycoprotein, which causes fusion between the viral envelope and the respiratory epithelial cell membrane, mediating viral entry into the cell. Palavizumab is a monoclonal antibody against the F protein, used for prevention against RSV in children. Rubiola is a paramyxovirus that causes measles. Measles has a classic viral prodrome that is commonly referred to as the three C's, cough, coryza, which is a head cold, and conjunctivitis. Pathognomonic coplic spots are 1 to 2 mm blue-gray macules on an erythematous base that typically arise on the buccal, gingival, and labial mucosa within 2 to 3 days of symptoms. The characteristic rash of measles is an erythematous macular papular rash that typically begins at the hairline and spreads downward over the next 3 days. Think about pouring red paint over somebody's head and watching it spread on the head and face first, then it will spread onto the shoulders, trunk, and all the way down. This is how the rash of measles spreads. Complete recovery from measles generally occurs within 7 to 10 days from onset of rash versus 3-day rash in rubella. The MMR vaccine is a live vaccine that will protect against measles, mumps, and rubella and confers lifelong immunity. 
Uncommon but severe consequences of measles can include post-infectious encephalomyelitis and SSPE, which stands for subacute sclerosing panencephalopathy. A chronic progressive encephalitis that occurs 6 to 15 years after apparent resolution of measles symptoms. Symptoms of SSPE include neuropsychiatric changes, seizures, coma, ataxia, and myoclonus. Mumps is another paramyx of virus acquired through respiratory droplets. It is characterized by inflammation and swelling of three organs, the parotids, testes, and the brain. The image here shows an example of parotitis, in which inflammation of the parotids causes displacement of the earlobes and is accompanied by pain and tenderness. The MMR vaccine is important for prevention of this disease. The rabies virus is a rhabdovirus with a characteristic bullet shape. The virus is secreted in animal saliva and contracted by humans through the bite of a rabid animal. Following local inoculation, the virus travels via retrograde transport from the peripheral nervous system into the central nervous system. Incubation period may be three months or longer before symptom onset occurs. Therefore, the rabies virus is considered a slow virus. Clinical symptoms begin with flu-like symptoms such as fever, malaise, anorexia, and fatigue that progresses to seizures, photophobia, hypersalivation, and hydrophobia. The hydrophobia or fear of water is due to the slow paralysis of the jaw and throat, which makes patients fearful of drinking fluids that they are presented with. The final symptoms include paralysis, which may lead to respiratory failure and coma. If someone is suspected of having been bitten by a rabid animal, post-exposure prophylaxis should be administered in the form of the killed rabies vaccine and human rabies immunoglobulins. Unfortunately, rabies cannot be diagnosed until it is too late to treat. Negri bodies or cytoplasmic inclusions in affected neurons are the hallmark diagnostic finding. They are usually found in the Purkinje neurons of the cerebellum.